Are you a hedgehog or a fox? Know thyself. The fox knows many things, but the hedgehog knows one big thing. The fox is a cunning creature, able to devise a myriad of complex strategies for sneak attacks upon the hedgehog. The hedgehog, on the other hand, is a dowdier creature, looking like a genetic mix-up between a porcupine and a small armadillo. He waggles along, going about a simple day, searching for lunch and taking care of his own. The fox waits in cunning silence at the juncture in the trail. The hedgehog, minding his own business, wanders right into the path of the fox. Ha! I've got you now, thinks the fox. He leaps out, bounding across the ground, lightning fast. The little hedgehog, sensing danger, looks up and thinks, here we go again. Will he ever learn? Rolling up into a perfect little ball, the hedgehog becomes a spare of sharp spikes, pointing outward in all directions. The fox, bounding towards his prey, sees the hedgehog's defense and calls off the attack. Retreating back to the forest, the fox begins to calculate a new line of attack. Each day, some version of this battle between the hedgehog and the fox takes place, and despite the greater cunning of the fox, the hedgehog always wins. Foxes pursue many ends at the same time and see the complexity. Hedgehog sees what is essential and ignores the rest. The good to great companies attain a very simple concept that they use as a frame of reference for all their decisions, and this understanding coincided with breakthrough results. Meanwhile, the comparison companies got all tripped up by their snazzy strategies for growth. The good to great companies founded their strategies on three key dimensions, what you can be the best in the world at, and equally important, what you cannot be the best in the world at. The idea concept is an understanding of what you can be the best at, not a plan or intention to be the best at. Just because you possess a core competence doesn't necessarily mean you can be the best in the world at it. Conversely, what you can be the best at might not even be something in which you are currently engaged. Because you get straight A's in math does not mean you should study math, because you might realize you cannot be the best at it when you encounter people who are genetically encoded for math. Gillette Company could become the best at building premier global brands of daily necessities that require sophisticated manufacturing technology. Gillette saw that it had an unusual combination of two very different skills. The ability to manufacture billions of low-cost, super high-tolerance products like razor blades and the ability to build global consumer brands, the cocoa blades or toothbrushes. What drives your economic engine? All the good-to-great companies attain piercing insight into how to most effectively generate sustained and robust cash flow and profitability. What are you deeply passionate about? The good-to-great companies focus on those activities that ignited their passion. The idea here is not to stimulate passion, but to discover what makes you passionate. You cannot manufacture passion or motivate people to feel passionate. The edge of concept is a turning point in the journey from good to great. Despite its vital importance, it would be a terrible mistake to thoughtlessly attempt to jump right to an edge of concept. It would be like Einstein saying, I think it's time to become a great scientist. So I'm going to go off to the four seasons this weekend, pull out the flip chart and unlock the secret of the universe. Insight just doesn't happen that way. It took Einstein 10 years of groping through the fog to get his theory of special relativity and he was a bright guy.